Hi, it's Steve. In this video, we'd like to show you how to change the drain connector on your high efficiency top load washer. It's a really easy repair. Let me show you how we do it. Now to do this repair, we will need access to the back of the washer. That will involve pulling it far enough forward that you can get in behind it. You may need to disconnect your inlet fill hoses and the drain hose from the standpipe. And you'll also want to disconnect the power to so simply pull the plug from the receptacle. Once we've done that, we can do the repair. Now that we have access to the back of the washer, our next step will be to remove the screws from that rear panel, except the two across the bottom. Those screws are typically a quarter inch hex head screw. And there'll also be one screw in that drain connector itself. We'll wanna remove that. And carefully pull that rear panel away. You may need to depress this little plastic clip on the existing drain cover. With it tilted back, you can then grasp that connector and just pull down on it slightly and disengage the two tabs that would be on the top and the one wide one over here on the side. Now on the back side of that connector, we'll have a wire harness attached. You'll need to remove that. So simply take a flat blade screwdriver and pry it out or push the connector through from the back side with a pair of needle nose pliers. So we'll begin by pulling out that harness restraint. Just pry it away enough that we can get a pair of needle nose pliers in underneath. Now, once we've removed that harness restraint, our next step is to push this drain hose down through the opening. Now you will note that there are some raised flanges on that drain hose that prevent it from going back down into the opening. So you can either try to slightly depress those flanges while pulling upward on the old drain connector, or if at all possible, we would suggest that you cut this and then let it spread open and it'll be an easier way to remove that. So using either a hacksaw or a pair of side cutters, we're just going to open that up enough. We'll use caution that we don't damage the drain hose itself. Once we've separated it a bit, we can actually fit that drain hose right down through. Now when we reach the top portion of it, we'll need to remove that preformed elbow connector. Simply slide that off and just set it aside. And we can then discard the old drain connector simply slide the new one up through from the bottom. Until we meet that portion where the flanges are located. And pull that through until those engage. We can rotate it around. And then reconnect the wire harness restraint. And next, we'll need to make sure that the two tabs on either side of that cover for the harness fit into the slotted openings. So just flex that harness enough that we can tilt that 
connector down into place. Slide those two tabs up into the openings. And make sure the wide tab gets tucked in behind as well. We'll secure that with a single screw. We're now ready to tilt that back panel into position. Make sure it clears that tab and fits over that locator pin. And then we can secure it again with the screws. And we'll also need to be sure that we install that support for the elbow. Make sure it fits up above that flange. And now we're ready to push the washer back into place. Now that we have the washer pushed back into place, we've reconnected our fill hoses if we've disconnected them previously. We have the drain hose set into the standpipe. We can reconnect the power and your repair is complete.